I'm, I'm a pediatrician and on the staff at Wake Med, and this is one of the um, first events that we're doing to celebrate the opening of the Wake Med Children's Hospital, which is the first children's hospital in Wake County. We're excited about this. It's something that the community has needed for a long, long time, and it's going to bring the care of children up to a, a new standard, and we're excited about that. Great. So how long have you been um, building and waiting for this to open? It's Forever. Been years and years it's in been, the making? It's been forever. But what, we're, what we've been doing is planning for the last five years to sort of get this in place and it's now it's coming to fruition. Wow. So what are we raising money for today? If it's already being built and it's about to open, what is the money going for? Well, this is, uh, and, and that's a very good question because the, the hospital is not funding this. This is the first effort that the hospital has made to have the community support this. So the building is there, but the insides of the building are what we are, are we are putting into place. Okay, so decorating for the children, having like an open space for children. To open want to space, the uh, the equipment, the, uh, the 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 fine tuning of the way the intensive care unit should be. All of the support services are going to be included in what we're raising money for now. So when is it actually set to open? What's the date? Patients will move in on May 24th. That's very soon. Very soon. Wow. So what other events are, is this your only event, or I'm sure you have other events that you're raising money for? There, there are several things that are ongoing, from uh, uh, receptions in people's homes to the uh, gala that we have each year in November, and uh, it's it's one of the many things that the community is reaching out to us to offer us to do. This is something that will take care of, of your children in your community so that we don't have to send them to uh, outlying hospitals. Right, right. That's so great. Well, um, if there's anything else that we can do for you, we'd love to have you. Actually, we have to talk a little about your shoes because this is a shoe podcast. Okay. So, do you know what shoes you're wearing? I'm wearing Belvedere's. Wow. I'm always impressed when the men know their shoes. <laughs> Very exciting. There we go. So, how Belvedere's. long have you had these shoes? I've had these shoes probably a year or more. Oh, wow. Yes. And where did you get them at? Do you uh, remember? I got those probably um, not here at this store, <laughs> unfortunately. Not at that. It's okay. Else. It's okay. <laughs> well, yes. tonight I'll be wearing Ferragamas. So you're actually modeling. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So you I got have to the get models, dressed. The charity thing on, right? Yeah. And you got to right. get dressed. So, uh, so both suits are Ferragamas. You have two walks. Uh, I have just one walk. Just one walk. Since, right. since I'm not a pro. Do so you have it down? Did Byron show you the ropes? Yeah. He's good at that. I've got, yeah. I've got it down. Let me let me see your 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 catwalk twist. Well, you know, it's just one of these. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice yes, talking to you, Dr. Chow. I look forward to seeing you later on in your show. Okay, okay. thank you. from Raleigh Pediatric Associates. Doesn't he look handsome? He is ready for an outing on the yacht or a casual Father's Day lunch. Thank you so 